How's it going, guys? It's me, Tom. Uh, for those of you who haven't been to this channel before, welcome. For those of you that have been watching, uh, it's going to be a little different today. I'm sure you noticed I didn't post a video last week. Uh, that's because I was out of town. And then uh, shortly after that, I, I caught an illness, which I've been fighting back with hot toddies. But uh, for this video, it's really just going to be a time lapse. Uh, I'm probably going to put my Spotify link in the description for the playlist I'm using so that if you guys want to sort of vibe along, you can. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. This is the first piece that I've done that's my actual non-food related art. Uh, I'm planning on going on an inspiration based off the fall leaves I saw out outside my window today in my uh, trees in my front yard. So yeah, hope you enjoy it. All right, so this is pretty much going to be the uh, the last portion of the video where I do any talking. So, you know, I'm debating whether or not I should add some more green shades towards the end. But what I've got right now is uh, poppy red, opera red, which is a brighter, more pinkish red. I've got my permanent yellow orange. I'm actually not even sure if it stands for permanent, but uh, it says perm. And then I've got perm yellow deep, which is the deepest yellow that I have uh, without it almost seeming fluorescent. So I thought those would be some pretty good shades for early fall slash mid fall leaves. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. And for those of you who are not familiar with my style... Um, kind of hard to explain. I do things based on the general shape they give off and just repeating that shape, sort of creating a psychedelic pattern. So this is the first time I've tried anything based on uh, fall leaves, so we'll see what kind of shapes come out of that. But uh, the majority of the work I'm going to be doing is probably going to be with flathead brushes, like this one, or angled brushes like this one. 